Uh, hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, I realise it's there's been a, a bit of a break obviously over Christmas. We're now almost all the way through January and I've not still not had much time for uh, modelling I'm afraid a number of work family um, reasons. But I have some modelling planned. I've actually been doing some research um, into some things that will turn up on the channel at a later date. Uh, but in the meantime I wanted to share a quick tool tip. Uh, now I picked this up, I actually saw this mentioned I think on a couple of different um, YouTube videos over Christmas when I was randomly browsing. If I can find them again I'll, I'll put a link um, in the description. Um, but yeah, what you can see before you is one of these poppet fidget toys where the, you know, there's these um, semicircles that you can posh out and, and pop. And this one obviously is meant to look like a football. So um, you might be wondering why am I talking about this? Well, um, have you ever you know when you when you're using the dropper bottles of paint um you know these kind of these kind of things um you need somewhere to put the paint when you're when you're working with it right so lots of us probably have something that looks a bit like this so this is just the top of a, a plastic uh box i use the boxes they, they originally had uh, mozzarella pearls in um but i use the boxes for storing stuff i put uh ipa and uh, and stuff in for soaking models to clean them etc but i put paint on the lid and Periodically, um, I also put glue and all sorts of other bits and pieces, um, and it works reasonably well. Um, and periodically, either I try and peel everything off, or I throw the lid away when I get a new a new tub. Um, but it, it's not ideal. The paint runs everywhere. The paints run into each other. It's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a pain. Um, um, so, why have I got a fidget toy? Well, these things are made of silicon, and the paints don't stick to silicon. Um, so what you can do, and I, the reason I bought this one is obviously I wanted one that was white so I could put paint in it without the background colour being a problem. Um, obviously if you're just using a single paint pot it's not a problem, but if you want to mix paint for instance you want a, a white background. Um, so this one actually has, you can probably see the black is painted on almost, um, so if you turn it over it's actually all all white, although some of them show up a bit grey. Uh, but you can see um, I've already tried using this. Um, so I've got black paint, which I actually managed to spill everywhere. That was the, the black uh, surface primer. Uh, and I bumped in, dumped in some yellow. So this is the demonic yellow that I've been using. I used for the G-Series Simplex and uh, we've used the spray can version on the battery electric loco that uh, my son and I are building. Um, but you can see, you know, you get a nice little well that you can put the, the paint in. Um, there's a number of different sizes. You can have all sorts of different paints out at once. Um, you can mix small amounts, obviously, in each of these holes if you want. Um, and in theory, you could probably cut this up if you wanted. So you could just have a smaller, a smaller section. Um, but this is this is the only one I could find that was appeared to be on white uh, silicon. All the others, um, I mean, it may be on white, but they're they're all painted all over without any white sections. This was the only one I could find with white sections. So even if you want to use this side. There's plenty of white sections, but I'm going to probably use the bottom. Um, but the nice thing about it is that obviously the paint doesn't stick to it. So you can just kind of pop and the dried paint comes straight off. So there's no need to clean it. You just kind of pop the paint and it just peels off. And obviously anything that didn't end up in the pop it bit, you can again just kind of, it flexes and paint comes off and you're back on with a, with a, with a clean with a clean tray uh, for next time you just pop them out um so yeah so this i think this is great as i say this obviously is a bit bigger than my usual um paint pot um so i might uh, i might cut it up i don't usually need more than uh, a couple of colors at once so what i might do is cut out some of these bigger areas and have like a four piece but i don't know quite what if i cut it up i don't quite know what will um what will happen how well it'll maintain its um its shape etc so um i might just leave it as this we'll we'll see but the point is i think it's brilliant i can't believe i didn't um didn't know about this before um i guess it's one of those things it's obviously not sold as a as a tool for modelers uh, but works really really well so um yeah i'll put a link into the description uh for this one it came from amazon i think it was about i want to say it was about three pounds um including the postage um so yeah you know probably less than the cost of the pot of mozzarella pearls i had to eat to get the lid um 
but yeah, it's going to save me lots of times. I don't have time. I don't have to worry about, you know, clogging up or, or anything. Um, I can just I can just leave it wet and then clean it when it's dry, just by literally popping them out. Um, I haven't tried it with glue yet. So this one, obviously, as I say, I put super glue on the plastic and then um, and then pick it up with the wire. Um, I don't know whether the glue will stick to the silicon or not. Um, I might try it and see what happens. I might not, um, just so that I don't make a complete mess of the thing. But I could put it in one of the small ones and not and not care. So we'll see. But for paint, um, certainly the acrylic paints, absolutely perfect. Um, so yeah. So there we go. Back with some videos for this year. Um, as I say, apologies. It's been um, a while. I didn't get any modelling really done over the other than the little bit with my son over Christmas. Um, and as I say, some some research for some future videos um, and some uh, railway related. Um, history research as well as, as taking up uh, more of my time than I would have liked alongside work and things so I haven't got uh, much modelling done but hopefully we'll get back to uh, the model of Dolgok soon uh, and as I said I've got a couple of other um, ideas in the pipeline I want to do the the cabbed version of the G-Series Simplex um, obviously would like to do a bit more of the battery electric loco with, with my son when we get a chance um, and I've got a draw full of kits from other people to build, plus some ideas of my own. Um, so some of which are a bit, um, a bit different, shall we say? Um, so hopefully there'll be a, another another year of uh, of, of interesting modelling ahead. Um, so yeah, if you want to make sure you don't miss that, there might be a bit of a gap before the next video. But if you want to make sure you don't miss that, uh, then make sure to hit the the subscribe and the notify button, um, so you don't so you see those when they come out. Thanks for watching.